Uh, not yet. You might have to wait for the red. Okay, I'm gonna go after after this car. I'm gonna squeeze. Yeah, yeah, Ready? Yeah. Red. <laughs> trips of my life. We are in Vegas. That's right. We drove the GT500. But we're here with an amazing YouTuber right over there. That is Shmi. He's going to give me a ride along in his beautiful Ford GT. One of one. One of a kind. You won't find this anywhere else in the world. We're in Vegas. Yes, we're going to drive along in this beautiful car. I'm so amped. I'm so excited. Big thanks to Shmi. We actually met up the night before at the uh, Ford GT500 reveal and we said, hey, let's hang out. Be the chauffeur driver. All right, thank you. Look at this service. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, take your time. Let's get all set up here. This is gonna be great. This is the twin turbo EcoBeast. You know what? I actually saw a Mustang earlier with the number plate EcoBeast. Oh. The number plate EcoBeast on the car. There you go. And I was like, that's epic. <laughs> Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Any special way to get in here or? Just kind of swing a leg in. And just kind of, yeah. All right, we're gonna get in Watch here. All right, we're in. We are in Schmee's. Beautiful. Wow, this is something else. All righty, start it up. All right. It's well, not a particularly well, well. spacious cabin. There we go. This is my magic mount that does all the... That's, that was pretty nifty. Yeah. That just kind of went on the windscreen. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy how, how efficient it is. We actually put that on the track. I was, I was, Did it stay on? It stayed on. Wow, good effort. Yeah. All right. Was some kind of police... Like, sure. Thing. So let's hope there's no massive traffic jams. So where should we go? Head to the strip? I, I'm down. That, that's definitely... You know, I haven't been down the strip yet. <laughs> now, so just so you guys know already, if you don't know who he is, definitely check out his channel. He drove this car, we mentioned it on the video when we were doing the walk around, drove it in Death Valley and had it shipped over here from Europe in a 747. That's pretty crazy. It's nuts. I'm excited. It's literally, like, the whole concept of driving my car that obviously I normally drive about 6,000 miles away from where we are now, and wow. then to have come off a plane and be driving the same car over here, it's just like, wait, what? It doesn't make sense. If you never experienced this. Oh instant. wow. That was an instant drop there when talking oh. about. That is fast. <laughs> cool. And then uh, what else have we got? We got track mode. You know track mode? Mm hmm Turn this, literally press this. Oh, that's cool. Then we go back up again. That's so fast. <laughs> it's cool. I can really just sit cool. there all day and play with that button. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to take a Ford GT out of the garage to have fun with it. That is something else. Wow. Uh, Manual. This looks very similar to the knob that's in the GT500. It does indeed, uh, but probably. similar gearbox, right? I mean, not the same manufacturer, yeah. but seven speed double clutch. Yeah. Wow. The tarmac here is so slippery. Yeah. Even there, I'm sure really? you felt that, yeah. right? Even there, the rear end was sliding around. I find that absolutely crazy. It must just be a little bit sandy, a little bit kind of dusky. Yeah. Yeah. Look, we're rolling 7.2 mpg there. Oh, there you go. You guys I mean, that, that is over the last five miles of sitting in Las Vegas. But yeah, we are doing. We are in a little bit of Friday rush. It's, uh, it's fairly well traveled, well tracked. Yeah, you've been in a lot of race tracks with it as well. Using it properly. I mean, it's done Nurburgring, Silverstone. Oh wow. Road Atlanta, uh, Spring Mountain, just outside of Vegas. Um, it's done eight, eight in total. Yeah, look, I can see there are 4,000 miles. So it yeah. definitely gets us. It's a workhorse. And the funny thing is, that's 4,000 miles on the clock, but it's probably done about 20,000 miles in trucks. Oh. Uh, place to place. Uh, it feels really, a, a lot more high end than I thought. Do you know what? In photos, the interior looks really plain. Yeah. It looks too simple and the steering wheel looks too messy. Yeah. In person, you don't get that at all. It, it feels right, it feels race car, and also the quality, the fit and finish, mm -hmm. all the materials are all really well made, and... I, something that really surprised me actually because for a pretty hand-built car yeah like a small race team basically in Canada you don't expect it to be a properly made car 
<laughs> There's so much to do here. I even get excited about the commercials on the TV in the hotel room. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. I want to go see El uh, Elvis and Michael Jackson this and show, the Blue that show, every event. Boxing. It makes everything just so extravagant. And uh, which makes sense. Oh, look at this. Oh, you have ways. You have yeah, ways on there. There you go. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, all of that jazz. So it has a lot of the basic creature comforts you yeah, relatively yeah, need. Bad. You know, these kind of systems are um, the normal, what do you call it, Ford system that you have in the whole range. Yeah, you know, you're right. And it's actually nice to have buttons that turn and, and move. Yeah, everything's really nicely made. All of these kind of toggles and switches yeah. and everything. Oh, well, it is nice. Normally in a car, you have kind of a click, like in a Ferrari mm -hmm. or a McLaren or something. These are quite spongy. Oh. Um, they don't have the same click. They have a... A different feel, like a to squishy it, feel, which to takes it. some getting used to. It's not what you think. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's not like saying. even. Well, it's almost kind of, like it's not like you have engaged it. Almost, it just feels yeah. like oh. So, a lot of a lot of the the driving experience with this car is that when you're driving it right now, things like that, you don't really know what you're doing. The steering feels a bit dead. The pedals are super hard to drive this car smoothly because it's designed to be driven in anger. It's yeah, exactly. not designed to be driven like this. We're going I mean, in this, rush hour. This is for the fans, right? That's the fans. Yeah, they're oh. absolutely working in overdrive because the car isn't built for this. For this. Sitting in. If you want to launch this car, right? If you want to do a launch control, you know in most cars how you've got to press loads of buttons and wait time. In this, all you have to do, foot on the brake, foot on the throttle, and then lift off the brake. That's it. That's your launch. I'm not, not going to uh, yeah, do it. We're not going to go right in the back, back of the Tahoe. <laughs> I mean, we want views, but not those kinds. No, I don't want those kind of views. <laughs> But um, it's that easy, you know, this car is set up for racetrack. It's, yeah. it's not beating about, you know, there's no like, if you want to turn traction off, there's no complicated procedure. Just press and hold that for a few minutes, a few seconds. Hey. <laughs> oh, we got some people who already know who it is. How you doing? <laughs> it's good. Good. <laughs> I'm just getting this me. Uh... <laughs> Dude, that pulls. Oh, yeah, it really pulls. That pulls. People think, oh, it's a three and a half I liter V6. I thought there'd be six. some lag. Yeah, no. 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 That is, that is, that definitely pulls there. Let's will enjoy the uh, traffic jam with us right now. Yeah. Um, I mean. Do you know what? If you're going to be stuck in a traffic jam, it's much more fun to be stuck in here in a traffic jam where you can like play with track mode. <laughs> it is so <laughs> instantaneous. How many millimeters gets, does it rise? Two oh. inches. Two inches. And then so you can do track mode, two inches, lift system, another two inches. <laughs> we got a straight uh, low rider out yeah, here. Yeah, we literally do. <laughs> it sounds really good. Yeah, anybody who disses the noise of the Ford GT just has some beat. Uh, yeah, exactly. I think um, it, I think it just doesn't carry across on video in the same way we hear it. That's that's one hundred percent right. It doesn't have that it's same. Like, yeah. Uh, Rolls Royce. Zany's <laughs> <laughs> reaction uh, video. Yeah, this is gonna be crazy, but uh, we're definitely getting some uh, a lot of faces of like, what is that? So people are lucky in here. <laughs> I'm sure you're used to it. Driving a car like this is not like a discreet. We're definitely wanting attention. This is great. You got the ferry. It's probably not as loud as yours. <laughs> <laughs> that was louder. Do you mind if I tuck in? Do you mind oh, if I it. tuck in? I'm in the wrong lane. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We got it. So, wow. That's one thing, you know, Mustang guys are always. Uh oh. Where did that even we go? Got, we got a train horn now. <laughs> we had I don't a, know which car was that. We had a Ford GT. And, uh. Oh, that was an EcoBoost. But that was another EcoBeast. Yeah. He was showing off to his, his uh, big daddy. Last minute lane change? Yeah, yeah.
is a treat, I tell you what. Let's head back the other way. Let's head back. Northbound on the strip. Oh, I think I've oh, I think wow. I've done this at a sign that says no U-turn. It does say no U-turn. Alright, back over we go. Alright. Let me uh Yeah, I've got used to this. Yeah. People don't ever give way here. Yeah, help careful, yeah, help uh careful. Uh not yet. You might have to wait for the red. Okay, I'm gonna go after after this car. I'm gonna squeeze. Yeah, Ready? Yeah. Right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that was something else. That was fun. <laughs> we had an In-N-Out burger yet? I just had one right before. Oh. <laughs> I was in In-N-Out like an hour ago. <laughs> I was like, listen, we leave tomorrow. I'm gonna go get one for lunch tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, for Monday. Oh. oh. There are some cars out here in Vegas. There are. It's Friday night. Friday night. Friday night lights. Rental car night. <laughs> I already had somebody asking me if this is a rental. And I'm like, does it look like a rental? They asked you if it was a rental? <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm like, yep. I just shipped my rental car over to the UK for a, for a week in Vegas. Alright, we are just talking. Let's can I find the uh, <laughs> home, Londres? That's, that's <laughs> French for London. Because the first time I ever saved home navigation system I was in Paris <laughs> oh, I <laughs> so, love it so it says it in French <laughs> love it I don't know how to uh, how to turn off the uh, that's okay no worries oh yeah totally fine yeah it might just talk to us every now and then this is cool enough Look, he's like what car is that do you see he's looking at the car. Uh, everyone's like it's everybody, Ford that, everybody this. looks at the car they don't know what it is first they see it's red is it a Ferrari then yeah like, no it's not a Ferrari maybe it's a Lamborghini um, then what you see is you always see them peering over the bonnet at the front to see the badge and then you see them seeing that there's a Ford blue oval and you <laughs> always see that look of puzzle on their face and then they look back at it again they're like yeah it is a Ford <laughs> make a car like that a little tunnel alright we got a little tunnel action let's get in the tunnel and then yeah let's, uh... <laughs> Woo! it sounds so good yeah, it comes to life. It comes to life massively when you're up at the top of the refs. That's one of the things I've come away with is I was I've completely 180'd my opinion on the noise of this car. Because like you said, don't get me wrong, I would love it to have a, a stonking great V8. Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, I'm a big fan of V8 cars. I own way too many cars that have V8 engines. Like, mm -hmm. five of them. Maybe. Yeah. Um, oh, plus GT500. But the thing is, this car had a specific purpose. It was built for a reason. And obviously, nothing else was really relevant. Keeping yeah. it lightweight, uh, the best aero they could develop, and making it ultimately a track car that could go and race at the Mop. Yep. Um, and when you understand that, and you experience what the car is, it works, it's perfect. If it was big and heavy and didn't, and had a massive engine, then it couldn't have those flying buttresses. Yep. And how cool are those? They're amazing. That's <laughs> so, really what made the car. Like, yeah. um, active arrow. Then you've got like the tail lamps have vents in the middle for air to come out. Yeah. Then you have the radiators in the flying buttress that send air through the flying buttress into the engine bay. It's not only an incredible looking car, it has all of that genius aerodynamic work, but it still represents visually the 05 GT and the GT40. You know, the, the headlights, that front curved low nose cone. The yes. shape of the car is still very familiar. It looks very much like a Ford GT. It, it, it's instantly that and it's not like you don't look at it and think well if you know cars you don't look at it and think hey that looks like a ferrari it's, exactly it's a different shape it's a different design yet they managed to introduce all of this kind of tech stuff and engineering stuff in a car that looks so good as well Woo. i like that pop yeah i like that pop too yeah <laughs> you gotta get ahead of the other cars so you can get into a tunnel drop the gear Listen, I want to thank Shmi My so pleasure. much for the opportunity. It's been good fun. Thank you so it's much. Been very good fun. I had a great time. That was the most fun <laughs> test drive I had in traffic. So yeah. I'll tell you right now. Around it. All right. All right. We stop. We're going. This guy is a straight New York driver. Like I tell you <laughs> what, he can handle himself. 
driving this in Manhattan yeah. through Times Square and stuff was hilarious. <laughs> Absolute carnage. So, we're going to ask to go through and park it up at the front. Uh, so this might cause a bit of carnage itself, but we'll make it work. Straight through. Yeah. Are a nightmare to park in because they're not straight. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They've got two sets of lines and they're not straight. So I'm like, let's open the door, make sure the handbrake's yeah. off, you know, undo the seatbelt. Oh, straight. Oh, steering's gone heavy. Turn to park. There we go. I love how you park with the door just well, you swinging up. You That's can, like, awesome. Do That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, let me get out of here. Let's. All right. This is going to be fun. Wow. There it is. We're going to get a demo of. Ready? Yep. Look at that. Just like that, up and down. That is so fast. <laughs> Too fun. Thank you. Awesome.